there, I'm Scott from Buy the Brush Miniatures and today I'm going to show you how you can start collecting Death Watch. Now I know I said I wasn't going to go into specific chapters, well Death Watch isn't really a chapter. So I wanted to give them their own video separate from the how to start collecting Space Marines video that we've already got out. Because I think they're just so, much, so different that you're probably going to exclusively field units that are pretty much only available to the Death Watch. You might put like, you know, obviously a captain and things like that in there. But we're going to go through today the usual format, the 500, 1000, 2000 format. But it's going to be a little bit loose considering they have so many different war gear options. So it'll probably go up to like one and a half thousand because things like say what guns you give them etc. It's going to all add up and I'm going to talk to you about making kill teams and things. How you can mix different units together pretty much. So we'll just go through it step by step as usual. And of course you want to start with the codex. Now because Death Watch is an Adeptus Astartes sub-faction you're going to need the Space Marines Codex, and then you're also going to need the Death Watch Codex Supplement. So them two books together will give you all of the rules that you need to play Death Watch. So going into the first 500 points, I recommend only one box that you need to get started, and it's not a start collecting or anything like that, it's a relatively cheap box, it's going to be the Kill Team Cassius box. Now the reason this box is uh, so great is because it comes with three units, it's got Chaplain Cassius, Codicia Notorian, or you could just run it as a chaplain and a librarian, uh, and then you've got Kill Team Cassius itself. And the reason this is brilliant is because you've got enough here for a regular Death Watch veteran squad, or is it Proteus Kill Team squad, I think is the firstborn one. Um, and then you get two Vanguard veterans, a Terminator, and a Biker. So what you can already do is you can already start making some mixed units when you get you know, it's a, all, all you would need to get is a Death Watch Veterans box and you can already whack some Vanguard Veterans in a kill team, a Biker in a kill team or a Terminator into a kill team. This Terminator actually has a strange loadout. It's got a Power Fist, Melter Gun and Heavy Flamer, which isn't technically legal. It just is if it's taken in this unit. So I would just bear that in mind. Uh, you might want to make sure you're playing with someone who doesn't mind you sort of saying he doesn't actually have the Melter Gun or, or, or something like that. Or you could obviously just take it in Kill Team Cassius. So there, it's about 485 points, so it's about as close as you're going to get to 500 points. A patrol detachment, and it's just it's just a really good box to start off with. I think this is everything that came in the... Well, I know this is everything that came in the Death Watch Overkill box, um, which was when Death Watch was first released back in... 2017, was it? 2018? 2016? One of them. Back in 7th edition, but... You, now you can still get this in its own standalone box. Now, sort of going into 2,000 points, uh, there's not really a specific amount of things that you actually need. It's more there are specific things that you need. And I say specific, and I also even say that loosely, because everything that you need, you're going to be able to mix together into these kill teams. So you want to get a good mix of Primaris, a good mix of Firstborn, so you can really get make use of all different types of kill teams. So based on the way that kill teams work, it's worth getting just some more Death Watch veterans. Uh, you could even just make them from like normal tactical marines and what have you. Just just get yourself some veterans, normal veterans, just even more. You've obviously also got the five that come in kill team Cassius, and now you can start using them as regular veterans rather than the kill team itself, which which is better to do because it means that you've got a lot more freedom with what you do with the unit. Additionally, it's also worth getting some more Vanguard veterans. These are good because if you put just one in a firstborn kill team, then you're able to use them to make the entire kill team uh, fall back and charge and shoot and do all of that. So it's very useful to have just one in a kill team, especially a close combat oriented kill team. So that's enough for, you've already got the two from kill team Cassius as well, of course. That's enough for like seven kill teams. You can put, you know, a, a few more in case your Vanguard veteran dies. But yeah, that's an option. Or you can just take it as a unit of Vanguard veterans. Another thing that's worth getting is Terminators as well, because obviously it lets you deep strike and they're a good meat shield, so get a few of them. Uh, bikers are quite good to have as well, although I wouldn't put just one in a kill team. I would either use it as a unit of Bikers, 
or I would put three at least in a kill team because then you can combat squad the kill team which means the bikers will be able to just completely separate from that and it's it's basically just giving you a free unit of bikers because you can just add them into the kill team at the beginning obviously and then they're going to separate so you've already got them just in the same troops choice uh, slot in the detachment as a regular kill team so it's just basically a free biker unit it costs points still obviously but just get yourself some bikers because they're useful to have. They're quite good for board domination and what have you as well. Now it's also worth getting the Primaris equivalents of everything here. Um, obviously you'll need some intercessors uh, as a base for the Primaris kill team. Although something to think about is that uh, not all Primaris kill... There are different types of Primaris kill teams. Whereas with the firstborn ones there's just the Proteus. I think it's the Proteus. And then with the Primaris you've got like the Fortis and there are like two others. There's this one, which is based off Intercessors, and that's your normal one. So you can put things like Outriders in there, I think, and I think Suppressors are basically the Vanguard veterans of that kind of kill team. And then you've got the Heavy kill team, which is based off Heavy Intercessors, and you can put things like Inceptors and Eradicators in there. So basically anything in Gravis armor. And then there's also the sort of stealthy kill team, which is based off infiltrators, and you can put, you know, incursors, eliminators, anything in four boss armor in there. But for this, just as a visual example, I'm just going to put some Primaris intercessors there. And then just get the equivalents for the kill teams, so like outriders, inceptors, or, you know, instead of these, get infiltrators if that's the kind of kill team you want. It's basically just have a look through your codex supplement and then decide what kind of kill teams you want to create on the Primaris stuff. Because there's a lot of things that you can do, a lot of variety. And it, it does come down to the way you want to play and what choices you want to make in the kill team. And with that advice there, I would probably go to about 1,500 points, maybe just under that. Uh, 1,250 points with that. And then when you're building up to 2,000 points, there are some more specific things that I recommend. One of these is a captain. This is a very old captain model, but it is a captain nevertheless. Uh, it can be any kind of captain. You basically just want to be getting them auras. Uh, a lieutenant could be useful too if you've got the points. But then at that point, you've got quite a lot of HQs. Depending on how many kill teams you've actually bought, you, it might be worth getting some lieutenants as well. Another HQ that it actually might be worth getting when Death Watch are concerned is a... Ordo Xenos Inquisitor, and for this example we have Lord Inquisitor Kyria Draxus, and she is like, um, she's going to give lots of buffs, she's a Psyker as well, so you might want to include a, include a Psychic Inquisitor, whatever you prefer really, but giving auras to anything that has a uh, keyword Ordo Xenos, it's very useful, it's just a thing that you might want to include, considering that, it, that Death Watch have keyword Ordo Xenos, because they're an Inquisitorial uh, Astartes group, it might be worth having an Ordo Xenos Inquisitor. Obviously that is optional though. Another thing that's worth getting now is uh, depending on what kill teams you've got you might not have a lot of pa firepower or melee firepower depending on what you think but here uh, I recommend getting a Dreadnought. For this example I've got an Ironclad but it might be worth getting something like a Redemptor or something or a Venerable but you can pretty much get any kind of Dreadnought this is just one one kind, there are obviously lots of different options. It's a very diverse and uh, the, it, the army's got a wide range of things that they can do. So that's why the examples aren't so specific and what have you, because really you can do whatever you want with the army. And to top it off, one thing that I believe no Death Watch army is complete without is a Corvus Blackstar. And the reason for this is because you're going to get your basic kill teams, uh, put them inside of it, uh, I, I think it can only transport firstborn units, so you can get a unit of Death Watch veterans or an actual Proteus kill team, or it could be, say, uh, Vanguard veterans. I, I don't see why you would, because they can just jump in. Same with Terminators, but you can just put something inside of it, and that's going to be what delivers the kill team. It's just a very, very useful unit to have in the army. It's also, the guns on it are actually very, very good, especially if you give it the Hurricane Bolt as in addition to the primary weapons. And then obviously it's got two missile choices as well. So it's got a lot of guns on it. So it's, it's, it's very hard hitting as well as doing its job as a transport as well. And with that said, I hope this has given you a few ideas with how you can start your Death Watch army. We would really appreciate some support, so if you follow the link in the description to our Patreon, we'd absolutely love it if you did that. You can also follow the link to our Instagram, where you can see some of the work that we've done already. It's personal things, but also uh, YouTube things. We've just got some of our own hobby stuff on there as well, if you're interested in that. 
So with that said, we'll see you later. And all right, when I said with that said, just try to cut that out <laughs> because because I, I, I don't even know what I was going to say there. I should probably plan the outro a bit more. And with that said, we'll see you next time. Uh, maybe I just need to say we'll see you next time. We'll see you later or something like that. And with that said, we'll see you next time. That was much better. Yeah, you know I'll cut that out. <laughs>